This short video is part of the process optimization use case series where we'll focus on different techniques to identify process inefficiencies, non-conforming activities, and improvement opportunities. So when we design a, a workflow, we design for both completeness and efficiency to ensure that everyone involved has an optimal experience. As part of the design of a workflow, we will often build in the ability to reassign work to the appropriate team to ensure that the task gets completed successfully. Even if reassignments are, are part of the design of the process, they tend to be time consuming and have an impact on overall productivity. So anything we can do to reduce the number of reassignments or how efficiently they are handled is a plus. Like with, mo like with most things, the, the first step in making improvements is understanding what is actually happening. So many of us have probably been asked in the past to answer the question of who's holding on to the tickets the longest. In fact, I've been asked so many times, I've given it a name, I like to call it the finger pointing report, or if you're more of a glass half full person, it's the opportunity to improve report. Or another question we're often asked is, where are my incidents or cases ping ponging back and forth between teams? Process optimization or ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution can be used to help us get a better understanding of how often certain reassignments are happening, which handoffs are taking longer than others, and where do we have these dreaded ping pong situations. So what you're looking at on the screen here is a project that we've mined with process optimization that is using our assignment groups as the activity. So the different nodes that you're seeing in the map are the different hops uh, from an assignment group perspective that incidents are taking to get to closure. You can do the same type of analysis with customer service cases or HR cases, we just chose incident for this example. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come over and we're gonna use our, our variation analysis section of the analyst workbench to help us do this analysis. What variation analysis does is it shows us all of the different routes that in this case, these incidents are taking to get to closure. Now I can scroll through each one of these and look at the individual route and get some details and statistics about the route. But I can also use this filter capability to help me isolate the certain scenario that I wanna focus in on. In this case, we wanna look at routes that have more than one or more than four steps. So routes or steps greater than four. And we also wanna make sure that there's some volume to the, the number of records, in this case, incidents again, that are moving through these routes. So we're gonna say records are greater than 10. And we'll hit apply. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna narrow my list of routes here in the variation analysis down a little bit. And I'm gonna then start to sort these, not by highlights, but by most records. And then I can see here that this, um, this route has got five steps. The one that's going, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, my Solana customer service support to Solana billing support and back to Solana customer service support. That's got the highest volume, but its average duration is only one days, one day. The thing that jumps out to me is the second one on the list. So Solana customer service support to Solana tech support back to Solana customer service support. There's a decent amount of records that are taking that path. But on average, they're taking one month to complete. And that's a problem for sure. Let's, let's focus in on these. So what I can do is I can click on this, say show route, and that's gonna isolate it to just the records that took this path. And we can see here that the records took in, came in, it took them 13 minutes to be assigned to that Solana customer support team. And then on average, it's taking them about a day to be reassigned to this Solana tech support team. And then here's where the problem comes in. It's taking this team, Solana Tech Support, four weeks on average to then reassign those tickets or incidents in this case, back to that customer support team. Like what's going on there? And what we can do is a couple of things. One is we can click on this and we can get some additional statistics about that portion of the route. We can use our histogram to see if there's any outliers that are really skewing the numbers in one way or the other. And then of course, because we're an in-platform process mining solution, we can come over here and we can drill down to the detailed records, these 26 incidents and do some further analysis. If there happened to be a larger volume of uh, incidents, 
moving through these paths, we'd have some additional options here that are machine learning based where we could run some machine learning based root cause analysis or run some machine learning based cluster analysis to help us get a better understanding of potentially what is going on with these, these incidents that are taking four weeks to be transferred back to that original group. So just one quick example or technique that you can use to do some multi-hop or assignment group analysis around your incidents in this case. But as I mentioned, uh, these could be used, uh, this technique can be used across different workflows as well. Uh, the setup instructions for how to create a model like this are going to be in the blog, the accompanying blog post uh, that's with this video here. Appreciate your time. Happy mining.